But all right, let's go over the call out. So all right. here we go. Well, this is metal, very simple. So this is choke. This is valley. Entire thing over here is called valley. This is Tetris. The entire thing is called Tetris. These three rooms are called Tetris. This is Bell Tower on top of Bell Tower. Small pack on there. This is called the Roof. The reason is soldier like to bomb here on mids. You can call this on top of Cafe or Roof Cafe. As long as you know what, what this is, is good. This is Cafe. The entire thing in here is called Cafe. I think it's called Ledge. I don't know. I, nobody calls this. I've heard it called Shed. Okay. Yeah, I think it's called Shed. People call it Shed. So this is called Shed. Okay. Cafe, Valley. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And forwards, but whatever. Yeah. And there's also under the point, but like nobody plays here and nobody should play here unless you're doing like some crazy mid. So that is whatever. Oh, look at a crazy point. Whoa. So that's mid. So second here, we still have Choke, Valley, and Cafe. This, this, this is like Cafe. And this is like part of choke. So this entire thing is still called choke over here. I think it's called porch or like whatever. Yeah, I think people call it like porch. Or still like valley because it's like close to valley. You can just like look at it and just see somebody here. So this entire thing is called concrete. This is point. People call this spiral, but like people still call it like point. It's whatever. It's really close to point. It doesn't matter if you want to call it something. Call it like spiral or something. Spiral or ramp this, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. This entire thing here is usually called like pack because there's two packs here. It's the only pack like out of second that's not like small. So this is called pack. Or you can still call this like cafe and then call this like concrete forward. And then this is bats. You like to play here and it's a shutter. And right here, this is dungeon. You can also call this spiral, but I prefer to call it stairs because unlike this, it it's, actually it's has like stairs. stairs. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is bush. It's a very specific call out. Reason is people like to hide here. I promise you, this works. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not joking. This works because oh. yeah, just just look there. You can very easily see them, but like if you don't look there, you're not gonna find them. Okay. And this is a lower. Yeah, it's very good. All right, now let's talk about lobby before we go into last. So lobby, shutter. If you're playing like in front of shutter, this is left and this is right. If you're playing on last, it's going to be the opposite. Right. So over here is lower lobby. This entire thing is dungeon all the way from the stairs here to all the way to here to here. It's called dungeon. People like to hide in this corner, so watch out for that. And... Yeah, this doesn't really have a call out. This is just lobby. Right. All right, let's go into that. Like maybe you could do lower lobby and upper lobby, but or left yeah, right. People, yeah, people call like left right and then like lower. Okay. So this is last. Let me take a look at this. Whoa, crazy! This is point. This is left. This is right. This 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 is dungeon. This is behind point or small pack. I know it's a specific call up, but sometimes there's like sentries over here, and sometimes there's like players here waiting for like you to use in and just like ready to like bomb you or whatever. So this is behind point. Behind point also refers to like this thing. People can like stand there. This is still called right over here, but if you want to like be really specific, you can call this barrels. Soldiers can just like play on this. This is behind. Well, this is like spawn, I guess. Spawn, spawn. Right, left spawn and right spawn specifically. The reason people call these out is because sometimes if like you have really major descent and your whole team wipe, demo can like spawn camp one of your shutters. So be very afraid of that. And this is called railing or rail or something. So there's like to stand here like during like the Uber exchange and then just like bomb whoever is like not in the Uber. But yeah, that's basically it. All right. So those are the call outs. So now what? So I can talk about the classes. I can talk about mid. I can talk about like. Huh. Okay. I think now I'll talk about like general positioning, like very like quickly, like okay. what like mid, second, and last will look like. So for mids, you're gonna have two types of mid. You're gonna have a left mid, and you're gonna have a right mid. Usually your soldiers will be playing on high ground, while your scouts will be playing like near your demo keep rotating. 
the way you like initiate on mid is with your soldiers bombing. For second, if you are holding second, your combo is going to be around near cafe. Your soldiers just play here, spam choke. I want nobody to play here. If you play here, you're really aggro. You can get you can get, you can eat a lot of free spam. But and this is even here, or add, right? Yeah, this is even okay. or like add. This is not this added. This is just like even ubers right now. Okay. Okay. Combo usually plays around here, and then your flank plays around in valley. And then for last, you're gonna have off classes because this it's map last. is really good with off classes, and it's last. You're gonna have one soldier playing right. He can watch this and this. And then your combo is going to be playing left. You're going to have like a sniper or a heavy or an NG. NG plays where the gun is. Sniper can either peek right or left. Right is safer. And heavy will be playing on the point. So that's basic uh, basic positioning. So demo, demo roll out. Don't look at me. I don't play demo. You shoot right here. And you go like crazy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, that nice. was good. Okay, and then here, that's clean. Usually, demo can shoot like on this floor and just like go crazy into choke. You're not gonna get a ramp site, and you're gonna take fall damage. So what demos do instead is they shoot this wall here. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they shoot this wall like during rolling out, but they do it, and then they like. Okay, they, they hit I, the I ramp slide. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't suck as much as I thought. And then they just hit the <laughs> ramp slide, and then they don't take fall damage, and they just reload. They just like charge sticky. And then demo has to call out like where they're gonna go in mid. Yep, so left if you or ramp right. Side and going right, you go right. If you ramp side, you have to just charge left. So that's demo. I'll go for scout because oh look at this pistol. Let's go for scout. Scout really simple. You just hold W left all the way. It is very simple, very awesome. So over here, you don't want to eat that your Pockets area. Your pockets will be playing on like this corner, so you can just easily just like go next to him and just later. So that's scout. Very simple. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not gonna go for medic rollout because you're following the scouts. Yeah, because I I need like players and like I'm alone. Yeah. So roamer. Actually, fuck. It, I'm gonna talk about pocket first because pocket's simple. Pocket. You're gonna use your four rockets to get out of spawn. Yep. Your first two rocket will be for you to get out. So first rocket will be to align yourself near the shutter. Second rocket, you will need to be out. And then the last two rockets, you can be like close to here, and then the last rocket, you can just like jump out. If you get caught here, it's pretty bad, but like it doesn't matter. Usually, a good one, well, like you don't like suck, you can just like use your first two rocket to leave spawn, and then you can do like something like this. Okay. So, first two rocket, leave spawn. Third rocket and fourth rocket, you're going to like try to jump over this thing. It's kind of hard. If you don't like doing this, you can just like align yourself onto like the door. With a third rocket and a fourth rocket. And then you just hold pickaxe the entire way, don't rocket jump ever over here, because you're gonna lose your heals. Around like this part, now you can just like jump and like reload your rockets and then get a bow here and then just like boom, go in. You're ready to fight mid. And Romer has a couple of different uh, rollouts depending on like how your team's gonna play the mid. So the first part, very simple. Ramp site here. You should land around like this. This thing here. This is universal across every rollout you're gonna do. It's over here on bats so that like your rollout changes. So depending on like how your team's gonna play it, you have three different rollouts for three different places. You can roll out valley, choke, or cafe. I'll go over my worst one. So I'll go over choke first. So choke, you wanna shoot this wall and do a skip onto here. And if you're good enough, this will like let you like ramp slide. If you want to, you can shoot here to like go high so in practice it is hard in practice this looks like this okay it wasn't that bad but like it lets you into choke oh that's pretty good it lets you like into mid if you are really really good you can do a little something like this and like land onto bell tower but this is pretty hard but if you like practice it a lot it can work so that's pretty awesome there's the valley rollout valley i think is better in general it's less hard, maybe, depending on like, how you play it. And you can just like land all the way into their valley if you do it really well. So valley rollout, very simple. You want to shoot a rocket before this pipe. So this pipe is like a way to line yourself. You want to shoot a rocket before you land into this pipe. If you do it after, it still works, but like it's awkward. So you want to shoot around here. Do a skip onto this porch thing. 
and then you're gonna do like a little like a little ramp slide and you can just shoot a rocket and then go crazy. So in practice, there's a little something like this. You can land on top of here, on top of here, on top of here. If you do it really, really well, you can land to their choke or into their valley. Going into the valley gives you a lot of like options. Doing this a lot here is really awesome. So the cafe one is very specific. This is a very like specific way to play mid. This only is really like useful if you like your team is going left, if your team's going right, whatever. If it's called that your team is going left, then now you're gonna have to call like I'm doing a cafe rollout. Cafe rollout is very simple. Just go into cafe and just like reload your rockets, grab health, and then hide in this corner. I'll talk about cafe, like what you're doing here on mid, like for roamer, but just in general. Rollout is very simple. Shoot wall, do a skip here, and then maybe you can do like another rocket here and like go crazy. Speed on this roll doesn't matter. It's just make sure that like you have 200 health and, and like you have four rockets by the time you're here. And medic rollouts, whatever. All right, you so that just is follow your scout. Uh, I'm yeah. Flank scout, valley, or choke with the combo. No, no, both scouts go in choke. Both okay. scouts always go in choke. Okay. So yeah. The only class that should go in valley is like soldier if he's in the yeah. crazy but, rollout. Okay. All right. So for demo, I'm gonna talk about like what you're doing on every single point. When it's this ad, when it's ad, when it's whatever. I'll show you like some bomb spots and I'll show you some sticky spots. So for mid, very simple. If you're going left, you just want to charge stickies onto um, their choke. Reason is, there's going to be four players are going to come out of choke. So one sticky, do a bunch of damage. Very, very nice. On on mid, I like to like rotate like over here. Some demos like to rotate behind Tetris. I don't like that. Because like when you're rotating behind Tetris, you don't really have like good eyes. You don't have good positioning. If you are going to rotate from here, you might like get initiated on. Or scout might fight you, so watch out for that. But you just keep rotating and then you keep spamming them. It's very simple. Real quick... If you are going left and their soldier is like playing on like roof, you have to shoot him. The moment you shoot him, that's just free damage if he keeps playing there. If you don't shoot him, this soldier will bomb your combo for free or spam you for free and there's nothing you can do. And then you just keep rotating, you keep rotating, and then eventually your soldiers will like commit or you will do like good damage on them. And then you're gonna call for like a bomb. Your soldiers will initiate. When your soldiers initiate, now don't be afraid, go on point. Just hold W into them. You can trap them behind them where they're going. If they're leaving like for Valley, you can just put traps behind them. And then when they go, boom. Or you can just like spam them. Very good mid. Right side is a lot of the same thing, but it's a lot more aggressive. Because usually if you're going right side, you're usually going to meet them. So right side, you're immediately just like spamming them. If, the, if you meet them, you just like MGE their demo. And you can also like maybe trap their choke. So that their combo is like forced to so, like waste time shooting your stickies if they don't they die so they have to like respect it and you, it's just spam city you just do a lot of spams your soldiers will commit and your scout will just get a bunch of kills really awesome if you're going right and they go left then it's just a rotation mid like left you just keep rotating you just keep like shooting them you can put traps you can do whatever you're playing demo man same thing here if you're playing right and their soldier likes bombs your roof that's just free damage shoot him it's better to shoot stickies on roof, by the way, instead of pipes. Because literally, like, one sticky can, like, hit literally everywhere on roof. So it is really awesome. Real quick, I'm going to tell you this for demo. One thing you have to watch out for this mid is if their soldier is, like, good at jumping, he might, like, try and, like, bomb you immediately on mid from, like, valley. So just be aware of that. Don't, like, look at the ground or whatever. Just, like, look up here. While looking at their demo and just watch out for any soldier. If their soldier bombs you, uh, you have to like kill him. There's no one else with you. You're gonna be alone. By the time like the soldier either kills you or you kill him, and, like their team will be like over here by the time he bombs you. So it's literally just you. So this is a free double air shot, so I'll go, yes sir. So get that clip. So that's mid. Holding mid is very simple, so this is even. Holding mid you just Play choke. You always want to play choke. Cafe and valley. That's like your other players' jobs. But choke is very simple. You just hold choke and put some stickies over here. Really awesome. Uh, on Uber this ad, you want to be closer to like behind this stair. You do not want to be past this line for this stair. Even the hell, even past this line. 
So you just want to like have some stickies ready. So you can just put some traps, whatever, wherever you think they're going. Yes, good traps. Oh, that's a crazy. Oh, I don't even know about that trap. That's kind of cool. But yeah, just put some, just have some traps ready. You can spam from bell tower, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, whatever. I don't play demo, but I'm pretty sure you can like spam from like bell tower and like maybe spam to choke. Or something like that. Just make sure you spam them like where they are going. You're sort of just going to initiate and like try to force them. When they use, you just jump out and you can just like sticky and go like, yeah, and then just leave. And then when you guys are ready to push, it's really simple. Just be beamed and you can just like bomb in. Wow, I'm in. Oh my god. A uh, quick note, when you are going to bomb in as demo with like Uber, your main, main priority is not like damage, it is strapping them off. They're, your main priority is like making sure that they can't just like hold S and just leave for free. So trap where like you think they are going. Other note, if you are going to do this, uh, they will like rush you because like you're going to be like very like forward and your team will just be like in choke with Uber. So just be like ready to like take a fight like some some you you're gonna get too scouted just think of like something like that so make sure you like when you bomb in and like you trap behind them that like you're in a positioning where like you can trap where they're leaving and you can also like hold s and immediately like get flash and like get uber so there's that so that's mid so second very simple if it's even you just hold onto here. This is free high ground. Uh, I'm not going to go over stickies yet. I'm going to go over stickies after every positioning. But you want to have some traps and choke. This fence or right here. I'll talk over this a little bit later when I go over stickies. But you want to hold this high ground. If you need ammo, just take this ammo here. Watch out for soldier playing cafe. Also, be ready to like spam. This is This is just like free spam for you. It's really good. Also, the soldier might sack from choke, so just be aware of that. Just be wary of that. That's mainly it. If it's add, you're gonna be playing like close to like choke here, and you're just gonna get ready to just like use in and like you know, right behind them. Yeah. Um, if it's this ad, you're gonna be playing closer toward this line, maybe even like all the way over here. You just wanna have like some traps ready or whatever. Oh yeah, this is a trap I forgot about. You just want to be ready to like, just like, leave. Same thing, you want to like... I don't play that much. You want to like, spam them. If you can't get like, good positioning, play bats because you have like, high ground and you have better eyes. But just like, be ready to like, spam them. And you're sort of just bomb in and like, kill them or force them. Then you guys just leave. On last, even, you just hold left. You... You are the main, like, reason why their team cannot push left, so you have to play left, never play right unless, like, some crazy shit is going on, or like, your team calls to play right, or whatever. But left is your place. This and this, you never look here, ever, unless, like, they use Uber right. Outside of that, you just trap left, and you make sure no one goes left. This is, if somebody peeks this, free pick. Free, free damage immediately. You can also have, like, some really good damage all the way in lobby. Just be afraid of their demo stickies, because demo will also play left into lobby. Just be afraid of that. That's even. If it's uber this side, you're mainly just going to play, like, near the spawn. You can dive, like, trap stickies anywhere. You also put some traps in the cone right there. Whoa. And you're just going to be ready to, like, for them to use in. If they use in T, you can just, like, rotate right. And then, like, put stickies or fight right or whatever. If it's uber this side on last, you're going to die. This is, this is the main thing. But, like, you're going to try to, like, survive as much as possible. Because you living is really very nice. Especially for last. Very, very good. So, I think that's it for positioning. If you are going to, like, if you have, like, uber add on last, you can just, like, be ready to just, like, take an exchange. You can bomb from bats or shutter. So, yeah, you can just, like, go crazy. You can, like, put, maybe put traps behind them again. If they're trying to leave choke, bomb that. You know, just simple stuff. So that's positioning. Don't forget anything. So that's mid. Pushing, yes. That's second, that's last. Yep, I think that's good. Yes, good, good, good. All right, let's go over stickies. Oh, yes, I love stickies. So this map, like every single map, it's like a playground for you. You can you can decide where your stickies go. This map is really good for stickies. Oh, this map is really good for stickies. So first of all, choke. 
First of all, choke, you can put some stickies here and here. Well, yeah, like this right here. This is good because their team cannot see... Let me put it better. This is good because their team cannot see the stickies. Like, at all. Like, they literally, like, look at this. They cannot see stickies at all. And by the time they're in choke, it's too late. They will take damage. You can even put them, like, here. I don't like here because Soldier can just, like, shoot a rocket here and, like, they're gone or whatever. But putting stickies here is good because, like, even if I'm playing over here, I still take damage. Very, very good. It's really hard for a scout to, like, shoot them. It is insane. This other side goes as well for you if, like, you're trying to leave. Like, on the way to second. Um, on top of the stairs here is pretty good for both sides. So, for this, trapping the ammo box is also, like, insanely good. Because their team literally cannot see it. Like, nobody will just, like, look here. That's not their first intention. Usually people will, like, will, like run out of ammo, grab the ammo, and, like, they're, they're dead. Boom. You can put some stickies, like, here. Very good stickies. Under, you don't really trap under, but if you really want to trap under, right here. I think this works. Okay, that works. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure these flower pots. Yeah, you can hide stickies into the flower pots. I don't know why you would do it, but that's a, that's an option. Can you do this? No, you can see it. Anyways, valley. I like to put traps here. I know it's, like, really weird, like... But I'll show you why, like, when I play Roamer. Soldiers like to high bomb from this spot. So if you put stickies here, this is a free pick. You can also put some stickies over here. Uh, right here is pretty good. Tetris is really good for stickies. You can put stickies on the corner here. Every corner really doesn't matter. Because they will have, like, peek it. And they will just, like, take damage. It's really good. Right here is good if, like, you're leaving cafe. Because if they chase you... Then, like, they can't really see the stickies that well. And, yeah. Yeah, now they have it. Boom. Over here is good. Even on top of the roof here. Because some soldiers like to bomb on here when they're really aggro. So, this is a free pick. Even here is good. Because sometimes the team will fight you. They will fall off here and they will die. Here is also good if you're, like, you're leaving choke. And, yeah. Did I forget anything? Here is also good. If 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 you see that their soldier loves loves to play bell tower a lot, you can just trap bell tower. So boom! Like, ha ha! Want to play bell tower? Die! That's really good. If you know their soldier likes to bomb on top of like your roof on cafe, you can just put stakes here and just boom. By the way, a lot of demo stuff is like an like analysis. If you can analyze what their soldiers are doing and where their soldiers usually land. Like, after, like, multiple times. Like, let's say their soldiers, like, when they high bomb, they always land on Tetris. You can just put traps on Tetris, like, prematurely. And then, like, when their soldier does, like, do the same bomb he always does, that's just a free pick. So, this is very nice. This goes for every map, by the way. Where there's call for 5 CP, you can always, like, analyze where the soldiers are bombing, where they're landing. And you can just put traps where they are going to land. But that's mid. I know there's a lot of sticky traps. Point is... I'm not even done yet, but point is... Every point, every map, you have free reign to put any stickies anywhere you want. Just be creative, trust me. You can also put some in this lamp here. So if they do cap point, they get boomed on. That's really good. I don't like here because it's like it's bad. Just put it on this wall so that like when they do come here, bam. All right, let's take about a second. Cafe, you're not really you're not really gonna play cafe, but if you want stickies here, just this wall here, this wall here. I don't like this wall because they can see it, but this wall is pretty good. Stairs yet again. This wall. Yeah. If if you're afraid they're gonna push cafe, this wall. If you really want to hide it, you can hide them in here. Yeah. People don't usually look here. And yes, this works. I promise you. Yeah, I promise you this works. If you put like five stickies here, and like their medics playing like a passive, you can just like drop him. That did like what? That did like one thirty damage. Like yeah, that was three stickies. Choke, I already talked about choke. You can put some stickies in this wall here. Very, very nice. Valley, you're not going to play Valley again, but here is good again. If you know the soldier likes to bomb on top of this thing, you can put some stickies here. Very, very nice. You can just put stickies here and leave. You can even trap their ammo box. Like, ha 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 ha. Like, yeah. There you go. Just make sure you, like, you know, lands on the ammo. Look at that. Boom. Invisible stickies. This wall and this wall is also pretty nice. I'm pretty sure this wall doesn't work 
Like, even if you put it here. Yeah. Oh, it works. Whatever. I like this wall in this wall better because that's sticky to like 20. Maybe on this pack? Nah, it's too, it's, too, it's too dumb. This is good though. This thing right here is very, very nice. Mostly this part because some teams, they will just like hold W into you and they will just fall off and they will just die instantly. Same thing goes for here. This is another really good trap. This is like this trap, but like way better because their team literally cannot see it. Look at this. Like they literally cannot see it. Like they can barely see it and they will fall off and they will die. You can also put them on this wall, I guess, like here. But like this, this trap is just this, but like much, much, much better. Uh, ammo box yet again, very, very nice. Even on this wall here. So if they do fall off of cafe, they will die. This wall is whatever. You can maybe trap it. On point, you can put some stickies here so that when their team holds W on the point, they die. Same thing goes for like this wall. So like when they hold W here, they will die. Stairs here is pretty like pretty awesome. You could put a sticky right here. Well, a little bit lower. Yeah, like right there. Pretty infamous trap because like even if they play here, they will like still eat damage, which is very, very nice. Uh anything else? I'll talk about lobby until last. Um Top of like shutter, I guess, is good. And here, yes, here. I forgot about this one. I already talked about it. This one is like another one of those, like, putting on the wall, they fall off, they die. But this one is, like, infamous because, like, their team will hold up you here. And, like, they can, look at this, they can barely, barely see it. They will die. This is very, very nice. All right, let's go into last. If you're going to leave last, bats, put some tickies here when you're leaving. Lower, you're never really going to, like, put, like, stickies here. But here is good. And also here is good. Here. And like to some extent maybe like here, but like I've never seen traps there ever in my life. But you know, just be creative. Here and here and like here works though. Bats just some infamous ones like this one and like this one. Very, very infamous. Every single game you will see these traps every time. Here's also infamous and then their ceiling here just works. It's very nice. There's not really any other good Lobby traps is just really like shutter and bass that you really, really, really want to trap. You're never going to play right, but if you are going to play right, here's a good stickies. Here is good. I don't really like this one because I'm pretty sure they can like see it. Okay, they, they can't see it, but like usually team will like hold up you here. So here. Anything else? Right side, you can be put some stickies like on top of here. So whatever, you're never going to really going to play right side. So let's talk about left. Your main spot. Put some stickies here like I talked about. And here, very important. And here, very important. You always want like four stickies on each side at all, at all times. Even like here. You, you just want like all your eight stickies to be here if you're playing on last. Very, very important. The reason is Soldier can just like do a speed shot from this spot all the way to like here. And he will just like land immediately in your medic. So you have to be like wary of this and just be ready to like dead on. Um, Here, if you're going to play passive, here is good. Another one of those ammo box traps, very very nice. Uh, quick note, ammo box trapping is not the like only map that has this, so just like yeah, just good information. Some maps the pack is actually a little bit higher, so you can't really trap it like process. But some other maps like, I think Snake has like this really like tiny like space, so you can put stickies on. Here's also good. Another one of those they fall off, they die trap. If they are hard hard chasing you, just put like carpets or whatever, because they will chase you. And then point. Point is your top priority. Point is very, very nice. Put some stickies in the, in the Cohen. Oh, the Cohen trap is infamous. It is deadly. It works. It's really nice. If you can, like, get a soldier. And I, I know this is like, some crazy shit, but if you get a soldier to, like, shoot a rocket. And, like, put the Cohen on the point and you trap the point, it's over. But that's, like, some super, like, high-tech shit. I've never seen somebody do this, but it works. As long as you have, like, four stickies on the point... You're good to go. This is really good. As long as you have like pressure on point, awesome. You shouldn't be putting traps here because there's no way people will be like this aggro. If they are this aggro, you should be shooting point instead. Point is your top priority as demo by the way on last. Like the moment left is over, like point is your job. Free damage, free kills. If they cap this, you lose your job. Alright, is there anything else? Sticky's dungeon, but you're never going to use these. 
Oh, dungeon. Here and here. Here they can see it. Here is way, way better. And here. And maybe even here to some extent. I think they can see this, but this is way better. Alright, I think that's it for demo. I don't think there's anything else. Alright, let me talk about Pocket Scout. Pocket Scout, on mid, your main job is just to play with the demo, just assisting him. Just watching out for bombers, playing with your medic, assisting with your demo's damage. So if your demo does like damage to the demo, just shoot their demo. If a soldier just like comes into your face, just like kill him. Make sure you have like high ground. You don't want to play like bell tower and you don't want to play like roof here, unless like you're really like your team is not rotating. You never want to play bell tower. If you play bell tower, this is just spam city, you will die. Never play bell tower. You mainly just want to play like Tetris. Tetris is a really good high ground spot, and you can just like jump out of it if you get spammed. And you can just jump back out, and you can deny it like very, very nicely. If your team is really aggro with the forwards, you won't have like enough time to just like go Tetris. By the time you're Tetris, your team might be like in choke, and then like you know, you'll be caught. So if your team does rotate fast, just keep rotating with them. Real quick, quick note, if your team is going to go left, you have to check this corner. Some roamers like to hide in this corner and wait for their team to call where you guys are and then hold W and then just two rocket your whole team. So like, you have to check this corner. No matter what, every single mid you have to check this corner. So you just roll out, check this corner, nothing, and then you just go on with your day. Play on roof, just take any form of high ground no matter what. That's not bell tower or roof. So just play on like, what is it called, shed? Play on shed. And just like spam. You can even just jump into here. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, yes. Scout is a really good class. You can just use your double jumps to just like go from high ground to high ground. Yeah, top priority denying soldiers. Uh, when your soldiers do initiate, then your priority will be to just like focus whoever your soldiers are shooting. So if both your soldiers shot like their other soldier, you shoot their soldier, free pick. And then your demo shoots like their scout, then you shoot their scout, free pick. That's basic, like, scout stuff. So that's mid. So, let's talk about positioning. So on mid, when it's even, you're going to hold here. Your main priority is just looking out for bombers. That is literally it. Nothing else you can do. You can pretty much taunt and build and whatever. Just go crazy. Uber decide. You want to play with your demo here. There's literally nothing you can do here. Your only job is, like, building and then just, like, getting your medic out that is literally it there's nothing you can do maybe pistol spam but it's better for you to like build it's way way better and an uber did and an uber ad very simple you're just getting ready for a push really simple you can just hold w and then well and then you just hold w the entire time quick note when you have like uber ad and like it's a demo scout uber your whole job on uber will just be to like hold w your top priority will be to connect your demo as soon as possible because your demo is literally bombing in into like their whole team without uber and without like any support and like you are basically the uber like your medic has like med has like scout speed now and like you want your medic to like ca snatch your demo with uber as soon as possible because you do not do not want to drop your demo on Ubers. Very, very, very bad. You really want your demo on Ubers. So top priority is just shooting whatever your demo is shooting and then like snatching beam onto your demo. Very, very nice. And after you can just kill everything. You have Uber ad, just kill everything. Make sure not to aggress too much. You don't want to be like all the way into lobby chasing and then like they pinch you or like your demo in medic is already like taking a fight. Like there's two players in your demo in medic. Just make sure you get them out. And then if there's anyone behind, just kill everything. Very, very simple. Alright, let's talk about second. Second, even. You play your demo. Your main job is just denying soldier. You can't do as much as a good job as, like, your demo. But, like, you can still, like, two-shot their soldier when he lands, like, in front of you. Very simple. Uber ad. Simple again. You can just, like, same thing. Uber your demo, and then you hold W. And then you just like hold me all the way into your like your demo, and then you just shoot whatever your demo is shooting. Very, very, very simple. Uber this ad, you just play shutter. Your demo might be like the furthest one in front of you, because yeah, there's nothing you can do here. You just build and you just leave. It's very, very simple. If you guys have time, you can go all the way to bats. Medic can just jump here and here. By the way, you can just go all the way play into bats. You have like free range. If you don't want to build for whatever reason, you can just pistol spam them, remove their crit heals at least, do something. So that's a little something to consider, but usually you should be building and then just like getting out. The moment you see the Uber, you just leave. And then on last, 
Unless, if you are playing Scout, that means you're building. If you have, if it's even Ubers, you will never be on Scout. Scout on last is whatever. It doesn't matter. You're going to be like either on Pudis or Ninji or on Sniper. I was whatever. Don't go Pyro. But if you are going to play Heavy, you're going to be playing on Point. This is for even. Point is insanely, insanely good for Heavy because you have eyes on all three doorways. So if they bomb on all three doorways, they will perish. So they're bombing in? Nope. Free pick for me, free logs. Very, very good. If you are going to play passive as heavy, you're mostly going to be playing like near like here. It's either you're going to like die as heavy, just like try to like ruin as much time as possible on their uber. Or you can just like go heavy and just shoot them and just like press bandy by and just like go back all the way to here. I prefer heavy who like stands on point like waste time because like heavy slow. But yeah. Uh, aggro heavy doesn't exist. If you really want to play like a focused like left heavy, you can play on top of like this box thing and just like head glitch. So yeah. Engineer. Don't want to talk about engineer and sniper. Fuck okay, I'm talking about scout. By the way, these off class tips for uh, Pudis, NG, and sniper all goes for both scouts. Sniper. You can either like peek left from like all the way to spawn free pick. Nobody will ever kill you unless like it's sniper. If you are going to play, like, right, you can just peek on, like, this ammo box and just, like, peek right. You can even peek here, because now you have, like, two, like, sight lines. If they run a sniper, just watch out for this, so I prefer, like, you to play here. Here is better than left, because you can now play really aggro and, like, hard peek them. Thing is, you need your roamer with you, like, you need it. And even, like, if your roamer's, like, protecting you, there's a very, very high chance you still die, so just be aware of that. Sniper far left is whatever because stickies. That is literally it. It's just because of stickies. Engineer. So Engineer has a couple of good like sentry spots. So when you first go Engineer, I recommend building your gun here and just like upgrading it to at least level 2. It does 20, twice the amount of DPM and has 180 health. Pretty pretty good, pretty good. Level 3 is better because you can get 3 pipes of 2 pipe. That is literally it. Sentry is just... The, the whole point of these sentry is just to like waste time. Just think of it as like a 7th person on your team that just have like 216 HP that does nothing. So where can you build gun? You can build gun here on like this cone thing. It denies points, it like shoots left. If a soldier bombs from right or left, they die really good. You can put a sentry like across here. It's good because like now if they want to spam it, they have like hard peak left where like your whole combo can just like get a free pick. Or they have like to like double soldier left and then spam your gun. So this is a good like time waster. If they don't shoot it, then your gun will just literally just like deny left for free. He can shoot a little bit of point and like right side is like this he shreds whoever's in here. Your point is damage is really good. I don't recommend putting a sentry right because it's very easily spammable. Soldier can literally just like go here and just spam it for free. Very, very easy. So yeah, here and here is very nice. I guess here even works, but Soldier can still spam it from here and here, but like, so whatever. I don't, rec I don't really recommend it here. Doesn't even watch point, doesn't even watch left, can get it really, really easily spammed. Here and here, very nice. And then I'm not gonna talk about over Spy. Spy, you just go for crazy stab, you go crazy, you go loco. So Flank Scout, your job's a little bit similar to like, Pocket Scout. But like, you're going to be stalling a little bit more than your pocket scout. So, like, for an example, if your pocket scout plays here, you can play here. Don't stand where your pocket scout is, because think of it like this, right? Where you're standing, if your pocket scout gets piped, you get piped. If your pocket scout gets splashed, you get splashed. So, by having, like, a pocket scout that's really aggro, and having a flank scout that plays, like, still as aggressive, but, like, a little bit more passive, you get, like, two, like anti-turret system where you can just like deny both soldiers for free soldier lands for your medic you have two scouts you can just like, shred them for free if like your pocket scout is taking a lot of damage and like they're holding w then now you can take the fight or your pocket scout can't and now you can just like take the fight or whatever same thing goes for you where like your demo shooting demo you shoot demo demo shooting scout you shoot scout you shoot whatever your demo shooting but yeah, you just want to play passive. Your team is playing here, you can play on top of this high ground. You can just spam them. Your team's playing here, you just go on top of here. You can still still spam them. On mid, by the way, for scout, if you want to do like long range good spam, you can just pistol spam them. Each pistol does like 8 damage. 8, eight, 12, 
8 times 12 is a lot. So just pistol spam. Make sure you don't like waste your like whole whole pistol, but just like you know, it's a little a little something to consider. You can also ruin crit heals with pistols. Very 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 good. But yeah, that's your you're like pocket scout on mid. If like your soldiers double bomb and like they're initiating, you just hold W. Make sure you're not holding W at like the same place your pocket scout is. If your scout's holding W here, then you hold W like here. Like you're still close to your combo, but like you're not playing with your combo. That's what that's what you that's how you want to play it. And then just look at that, boom. You can just like shoot whoever's like getting shot at by your soldiers and you guys win. Yet again, don't play Bell Tower as a flank scout, you will die. You will eat spam, you will die. You're gonna do you're gonna be like this, and you don't wanna be like this. It's really bad. But that's mid. Let's go over positioning. So if it's even, you're gonna be playing on top of here. Your main job is just pistoling down flank. That is it. Just making sure that the soldier doesn't like go all the way to here and like Bomb your medic. That's your main job. Your other job is just like supporting your roamer. Your, your roamer is going to be mostly going to do like all the W-ing and all the damage. You just support him. But your main job is just holding here. You can just jump from here to here. Very nice. I'm pretty sure you can just like... Okay, yeah, you can just do that. I'm stupid. You can do that. This side... This side you actually want to play your valley. Nah, you can play Chogus, whatever. Just make sure you're out by the time you're. You can play here, and just like pistol them choke. That's pretty good, yeah. I think I think as well. Like you can pistol them choke. You can go choke with your combo. Just make sure that like the moment they use, you're at least on like a doorway. That like you're at least on like on, on, on a line that like you can just leave and like nobody can like chase you out. There's nothing you can do about like forcing them. It's all about your soldiers. So and then when it's Uber ad, you just. You want to like be ready to like go in, but like not where your combo is. So like if your combo's in choke, you're just playing valley. You're ready in. Your combo holds W. Your combo now uses. They're in. Now you support them like behind them. Your main job is like capping, like of course, that's that's your job. But then like if like if like there's a player behind like their Uber, then now your job is like to just like you know shoot them and kill them or whatever. If there's like a soldier hiding behind you guys, then you can just like take a two v one, ask your roamer to like play with you. And then just like fight him. Very, very good. One sec. But yeah, so that's what you like you do in like Ubers. So on second, if it's even, you play here near the pack, you just pistol down. Valley is like your thing. You have to watch Valley. Whether it's mid or on second, you just watch Valley. You can pistol them down, it's whatever. You just deny soldier from like bombing into Valley. It's very simple. If like your roamer is dead and you don't want to play like really aggro on flank. It's not good for you to play here because, like, you're enclosed and, like, you can just hold W and just bomb for free. So, like, watch out for this. This is better. If your roamer is dead, you can play here because now you have high ground. You can deny if they're bombing in. And if they fight you, you have, like, positioning and, like, you can just hold here and, like, get beam. So, it's really good. If your roamer is up, though, you want to play with him. You don't want to bait him because maybe your roamer is bombing in, going into your team. And, like, by the time you're like, oh, I need to hold W, maybe your roamer is going to be dead. So... Yeah. This side, you just want to play here, bats with your team. To go bats, you, I bet you can just like double jump with the bats. Yeah, you can just like go bats and just like. Very, very nice. What? Dude, there's smoke on God of the pistol. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Anyways, you just want to play bats and just like leave. Uber ad, you just want to like push valley. Holy. You just want to push valley. Just be aware of like spam or whatever. Your team goes in, you just hold W, you just look cafe, nothing cafe, no chasers, then you just like, yeah, and then nothing, you just cat point. There's a scout behind you guys, you can just take a 2v1 of like, both your scouts, or like your soldier and your scout, and you just kill whoever's behind. If a soldier's like hiding on top of cafe, you can just like pistol spam him. If he's bombing in, you're waiting for him to bomb, and then you just like, two shot him. Very, very good. On to last. Last, you're never going to play scout on last. I've already talked about sniper and NG and heavy. If your pocket scout's on heavy, you can go NG or sniper. If he's on sniper, he can go NG or heavy. It's really good. Quick note, you at least want at least a heavy or an NG on last. Because, one, they deny bombers extremely well. Like, like so well it's really hard for them to push. Yeah. And because you just have more health, it's just as simple as that. Just more free health for your team. More, like, time wasters for them. If you're going to play Scout for whatever reason... 
Uh, don't play left. I don't know. Just play with your roamer. Cause you have nothing else better to do. You can maybe play these crates, and then like you have high ground. You have good spam on them. You can go play here. You can go back to here. You can even play on top of like this point thing. And like if there's soldier bombs from dungeon, you can just shoot them. All right, middle for soldier. So your mid will vary depending on like how you play it. Oh, look at here. If you play on top of roof, first mid, where you bomb roof, your top job, your top priority is like shooting their demo. Yeah, free damage on your demo. Your demo is also going to spam their demo, like double spam, really, really good. Quick note, if their demo shoots you, you need to jump out because that's just free damage for your demo. That is very, very, very good damage for their demo. And like, you won't be able to bomb afterwards. You can just like bomb like on top of Tetris and like keep spamming. Or you can just like jump like all the way out to like Valley or whatever. I don't like this because like you're out of position and like now you have 90 health. Anyways, if their demo doesn't spam you back, you can also just spam their choke. Four players are going to come out of choke. One rocket for four damage for like a four players. Very, very, very nice. Dude, I can't jump. So just spam choke. Very, very good. All right. So your team will keep rotating, right? And now you have to like just like you just have like keep rotating. You can just go on top of bell tower and spam them. If they spam you out, you can just like jump out, stun high ground and narrow, and then just like come back, spam them, and just like go cool play bell tower and just like spam them some more. The thing with bell tower is that you don't want to stand on bell tower for too long because you will eat a lot of damage by their demo and you will die really really quickly. Is like. Cafe still, cafe roof, just not play there for too long. If they are shooting you in bell tower, uh, just keep playing fucking bell tower, dude. Like, this, this is just free damage. This is like really, very, very nice. Alright. That's not that, that's not what you're here for. You're here for high bombing. So, where can you high bomb on this map? So, eventually, you're gonna need to high bomb. You can't just like jump high ground and spam, then jump high ground, spam, jump high ground, spam. This is boring. After a while, you have to like initiate. Your demo call for initiation, just be aware, aware of that. So, in every corner of the map, there's a way to high bomb. So, Cafe has the, this spot you can high bomb off, and Choke has like this spot you can high bomb off. So, Choke is very simple. You just jump off like this roof, and you can just land into them. Very, very nice. And then, Cafe here, if you are like. Come on now. Oh, this game sucks. If you're uh, playing on roof. You can just fall off over here, and you can just like high bomb from like cafe into them. Very good. I kind of fucked it up, but I'm pretty sure you can like land all the way to like Tetris. Yeah, you can land all the way to like Tetris and just like spam them and just like get good damage. So point is, if you're playing here, 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 or here, no matter where you are, it's a good spot for you to high bomb off. This is why you don't want to play in like a corner. Like you don't want to play here because now you have to waddle to like bomb. You don't want to play under point because low ground, plus there's nothing for you to do, plus it sucks a lot. And playing on Chet isn't good for you because if you want to high bomb, then you have to leave and then bomb from here it is bad. But yeah, that's mainly your mid. Your mid is just high ground, spam them, good damage. If the demo shoots you, you jump out. And if he doesn't shoot you, shoot them. And then after a while, you're going to have to like high bomb. Your demo's going to call it. Really awesome. Real quick on mids, uh, so there's another like class you can like analyze what they're doing. You can analyze whatever they're doing for like every class, but for like mids on this map, if you see that their like demo is like genuinely like slow, like you can land roof and then like a second later he's like in choke. What you can do instead of like wasting your time, you can just like go valley and just like jump into like their choke and just like spam rockets or spoon their demo. Uh, spooning their demo is a genuine like strategy on this mid because it works. Because like I said, for demo, you're going to be the only one like on mid for like two seconds. So you can just genuinely just like, spoon their demo and just jump out. If you don't like spooning, you can just like go their choke and just like bomb them or whatever. Uh, you will die instantaneously, but there's a high, high chance you get their medic by doing this. And if their medic dies on mid, then their demo doesn't have health. So the demo has like 100 HP, and their whole team is in ca is in choke. So your team would just hold W. Very good. This choke thing is like very like high risk, high like high reward stuff. If you get nothing in choke, then like your team is down one initiator and like one spam class. You have to like 
make sure to like hit it. Make sure to hit your rockets. Also, there's a high chance like their scout will just eat your rockets, so like it's unfortunate. But yeah, that's middle. If your demo rolls out Valley, you can also just bomb him into Valley and take a one d one. So there's something you can do. All right, let's talk about positioning. So Romer, you play here with like your flank scout. This is even. You can just like spam them. You can just all spam like their supports here. If you want to, you can also just jump and get like a way better spam. <laughs> Very good. You don't want to play like past this line. You really don't. Because if you play past this line, their roamer might bomb you and take a 2v1. So just watch out for that. So you can just spam them. If they have a sniper bat, you can spam them bats. It's whatever. Valley is your spot. On Uber Dissad, you're mostly going to be ready to like bomb in. So you're going to get 300. So you're going to get 300 HP. So your main spots where you want to like hide is like here. If you want to hide here is really good because like even if they see you, you can like you can just like high bomb into them and just like bomb them. Yet again, you can play choke with 300 and when you see them bomb, you can just well if you do that you suck. You can just like high bomb from like here into them. Force them. You can hide this corner. If they're coming valley, just bomb them. Very good. Just figure out a way to like bomb them. Whether it's high bomb or hiding is very good. Even on top of Bell Tower works. Because you can see like if they're going cafe. If they are, you can just like for free just like do this. Very, very good. You're gonna die by doing this. If they don't kill you, then they suck. But just expect that, that when you're going to sack, you're going to like die. And on Uber Ad, you're just gonna be ready to just like go behind them. Go behind them or just like support like your demo. So like your demo's bombing in, and uh, if there's no one fighting on flank, you can just like bomb your if your demo didn't shoot whoever your demo is shooting, just support your demo. If there are players on flank, which will happen, you you fight them, and then your Uber will now fight them with you. So then like, you can just like two v one them and become the winner, and then just like you know get out, and you know keep keep winning. So second second you're gonna be playing here. I don't want you to like play here. It's really bad. And this is your ammo ammo pack, by the way. R quick note: if you are gonna take ammo, make sure you call it to your scout because your scout might like take a fight here in Valley, thinking you're there. You have to call me to take a pack because like you're slow and like you're waddling and like you're slow and like now you can bomb in and now you're with your scout. But make sure you call this. Outside of that, free health right here. You shouldn't be needing that many arrows. You can also just spam here and here, really good damage. If they if they neglect flank a lot, you can also take their pack. If they bomb you, you can just jump out and then have your scout like support you. But just like this pack is like you have to be wary of that because they might bomb you for it. Who watch out for that? If they neglect flank, you can genuinely just like sack from flank. If they are neglecting flank a lot, you can bomb from here by just doing this. This is a really, really good bomb. So yeah, really good. By the time you're like in the air, their scout literally cannot deny you. So there's just like free like landing on their medic for free. Anyways. This ad, once again, you get 300. You're like, doctor, be me. If you see them choke, you can just like bomb them from like bell tower. Very good. That's not bell tower. That is called lighthouse. You can bomb them from Lighthouse. If they're coming cafe, you can just like do like this and just like bomb into them cafe. You can hide in this corner. And they come to you just boom, boom. Or even better, uh, here. Wait, how do you do this? I am noob. Oh, I can never mind. I hit it. Okay, so you can actually hide in this corner. This was, this was like discovered like recently, maybe, I think. I don't know. You can spam here. It's really good. Like, you can hide in this corner. Thing is with this corner is that um, you cannot, like, rocket jump out really well. Okay, never mind. I guess you can. But, like, you can't move. If they see you here, you're going to die. There's no way for just like, jump out and then jump. Like, it's really bad. You have really bad mobility in here. But, hiding spot. Anyways, point is, get 300, bomb. You can also hide. Hiding here, here. Bomb from lighthouse. You can also just, like, creature, like, in cafe. So when they come choke, you can just, like, kill them. Three picks. Just be creative. If you are 300 in here, then like in their going valley, you can just bomb them from like lighthouse from this. Pretty good because you have high ground and like you're just raining rockets on them. Awesome. You're gonna die by doing this. 
Uh, if your team has add, if your team has add, you can just go valley and just like look here, look at the corners, no corners, nobody hiding. You're looking, they're playing their choke, you can just bomb in, play cafe, and just like spam them out of choke. If somebody's like behind you and your flank scout, you can just like take a 2v1, just shoot them. Really good. Also, quick note, because you're playing roamer, because you're playing soldier, this goes for your pocket soldier, but like a little bit less. But like, this mostly applies to you, like roamer. Uh, packs? Packs are your friend. You, you, will, you want to eat as many packs as humanly possible. Oh, you want an arrow? No, no, you need a pack. Like, sometimes you will need an arrow, but like, what differentiate like good roamers, like baby roamers, is like the ability to like not like not like hoggle beam. Like beam is for like your four other like classes that are like a little bit more important. Hacks are for you. You get a pack, you get a hundred free health. That's really good. You have to realize that like soldier is the class that's that's sort of heavy. Soldier is the class that like. Takes like the most like benefit out of a pack. Scout gets like what sixty two health. Demo gets like what like eighty something. You get a hundred. Like that's that's pretty cool. That's very good. So just make sure to like eat as much packs as possible. On last. So last, you play right. So right is like your your is your spot. You can you can watch dungeon from right. So real quick. Instead of rocket jumping onto here, I think I already talked about this, but instead of rocket jumping onto like here, you can actually go on this wood thing right here, stand at it, and then crouch jump onto here. That just changed my life. Yeah, oh my God. you can do this. <laughs> you can do this. This goes for every class, including Buddhas. This just works. You can just free, free spam here. So, that is so good. So fucked up. You I can, always ruin my buff Anna. getting onto that spot. No, no, no. You, you can do this. I figured out like you last year. Oh this was crazy. my God. <laughs> but yeah. You can you can just like start spamming here. You can also spam from dungeon. Very very nice. Dungeon doesn't really matter. The only time it matters is soldier bombing in. But usually red matters, especially if they're on sniper. You want to prefer this a lot. Um, passive. If you're playing passive, you're not playing passive. You're playing on top of here. This is where you're playing. When you're playing passive. Playing passive is where you play. So your whole job is they use Uber. If they shoot you, then they're stupid. But like, if they bomb you, you just jump out, and you fight right. Your top job here is to like, shoot whoever's not Ubered. So if like, the Uber's happening and the soldier's like, doing nothing here, you can just bomb him for free and just like, fight him and go crazy. And if their Uber is over, then you can just like, land on them for free and just like, shoot whatever. You also have like, good spam on like, never mind, you have good spam on left. You don't have good spam on point though, but you have good spam on left and right. So just be aware of that. That's pretty good. You can also just bomb point like here, like land here, and just like bam, bam, go crazy. If it's add, you can go right if you want to, but what I like to go is dungeon, because now I can like take a look, take a little peek. So dungeon, I like to shoot this corner, nothing, then I shoot this corner right here. Then I can just look. The reason I shoot this corner is because some classes like to hide here, because Romer likes to like look lower, and then you can just like, go last. I like to shoot this corner, and then this corner. Then I just go and I just look. Nothing. I play bottom left. Bottom left. I'm a foil from my team. I can play next to valley. And I can also jump from valley. Using this wall here. So I can just like jump into them. It is really good. Also you have pack and health. Oh your best friend is right here. Yes sir. So that's mainly it for last. I think that's it. Yeah. So now what will I talk about? High bombs and hiding spots. Yes. Very good. So middle, I already talked about the high bombs here. Make sure you like practice this. Quick note for this one, this can actually deny you. So just be aware of this, because like this rock sucks and this rock actually has a like, collision. It is really weird. It just match sucks. Um, yes, I forgot to talk about this crazy mid. Let me talk about mid first yet again. So I forgot about talking like, mid for like something. So let me just like left yes okay so this mid where i talked about you bombing high ground shooting them then bombing them this is good this works if you're going left it is also works if you're going right by the way the demo going right you bomb roof you spam them and you hold w if your demo meets their demo you can just bomb them immediately and just collapse on them and kill them all if they don't they just rotation but you do like always thing is if your demo goes right, there's really just like one playstyle you can do, which is the playstyle I talked about. 
if you go left, however, you get another additional place that you unlock. So instead of like bombing roof or whatever, this is where this cafe rollout comes in, where you like you play in cafe and you hide in this corner. So for, this is where cafe for comes roaming? out. Like, yeah, for roaming. Yeah. Pocket soldier, you're not gonna do that. You're playing choke. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So for roamer, your your top priority here is like to do as much damage as humanly possible in cafe. So what's gonna happen here is you hide in this corner, right? And your team will call when they're playing Tetris. Like, they, your team will call, like, their whole combo is in Tetris. Or just, like, go in, or whatever. And then your job will literally just do this. And you will get, like, a million kills, a million damage. Oh, you get so much value for your team. The moment this happens, you just shoot whatever. You want to, like, either kill their medic, which is really good. Or kill their demo, which is also really good. Or just do, like, a million damage. While this is happening, your your pocket can just, like, immediately bomb in. And then your whole team can just, like, collapse on them. Free, free damage. So, so good. The thing with this is that, like I talked about, like scout, they will the scout will just do this and look. So just be aware of this. If they do that, you can just like jump out, grab a pack. If they keep fighting, you can just like leave and go behind them. So now they have like five players in front, and then you can pinch them. If you want to pinch them, you can just like bomb them from choke. Very good, very good. Yes, yes, yes. But anyways, you don't want to feed here. If you are going to feed and like doing a cafe play, you have to like get damage off. If you feed from like they fight you then like like i like i told you you can just like jump out you can like you you like you have the option to leave so just make sure to take it all right quick tangent aside for mid let's talk about the high bombs so i'm talking about sacking and just high bombing in general yeah, how does pocket play mid because like i normally just i bomb out of the house and take space and then off that if we like get damage I'll, I'll talk about them. i'll talk about pocket soldier after i finish about rummer all right. okay all right so real soon my my dear friend so bombing in here really simple you have like two bombs you can do you can either like c tap on the ground and shoot here quick note this thing has like a collision so like be aware of that it's like this is this roof sucks but what i like to do is shoot this wall here into like this wall you're even gonna c tap that yeah you can c tap here i usually i i used to c tap but i always hit the roof here I like this like yeah like that Oh, I did an edge bug. Crazy. Anyways, you can just shoot wall here into here. This lets you, like, go into them for free. Let me try a really good bomb. Let me try a good example of a good bomb. Anyways, I suck. You can also go, like, the right side of that and kind of cut them off. Like, if you don't yeah. bomb on the plot and you go, like, that lower grass area. Like, it depends on how you're pushing. Like, uh... Oh, sometimes... No, like, to the right of the up point. The whole area down there. You kind of get low ground, but no, okay, fuck. Like, instead of going to plot, you go, like, around the other side of the point. Oh, like this. Yeah, and that one can kind of fuck them up sometimes, because they feel forced to deal with you. I don't know, it works in lower divs. Oh, I'll talk about this one, like, after. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, Romer, you can just bomb here. A good bomb is, like, you land, like, on this line. If you get past this line, it's a really, really good bomb, because Minig like to play passive here. Only thing is, if their demo might have stickies here... So like you have to like maneuver around that because you don't really like you don't like die instantly. You're not gonna get denied here. You might get double air shot by their demo, so just be aware of that. You just it's just a sack. It's whatever. So there's a counterplay for this sack where like you actually high bomb from valley. So if they have no flank in valley for whatever reason, you can actually just bomb from like valley right here behind them, and like this is good. Yeah, this is a good sack. This is a counterplay sack. Because, like, let's say you keep bombing choke and, like, it doesn't work. Then you can try this valley bomb. Thing is, if they spot you, it's kind of game over. But, like, you can just, like, change that victory in midair. Like, if they see you, you can just, like, do the regular sack from here. It's whatever. Bombing from valley gives you the option to go behind them or go in front. So, yeah, really good. Kevin doesn't really have any, like, bomb places. Unless, like, you do, like, a little crazy something like this, I guess. Like, you can do that, but, like, you're not going to say this is, like, rolling out. Anyways, so hiding spots. So valley, just every corner is a hiding spot. If, like, you have mid, you can just fight their flank. Haha, <laughs> really awesome. If you have second, you can just hide in this corner, and if they come valley, really awesome. There's also this hiding spot you can hide under, but, like, the thing is, like, you're crouched, and, like, you can't jump, and, like, it's horrible. But, like, I've seen some people, like, hide here before. And they do the back cap, it's really funny. Cafe has like some infamous hiding spots. There's a pretty infamous one. 
That's what after. But you can actually jump on top of this like locker thing, and you can just jump onto here. So this is a gully wash thing where like this thing has collision. Gully wash also has that. You can just jump here and like you can hide in this corner and just go crazy. But this hiding spot here is infamous. People don't look here ever. I don't know why. It's pretty good. This is like the only hiding spot in cafe, by the way. That's not like here. You can hide here. You can just like land into them. Really, really good. Whoever's playing cafe has to look here every time, by the way. All right, second. So bombing from second. I've already talked about this high bomb. It's really good. If they're playing really passive, you can just bomb them from like here. It's the this bomb is really good. Like holy, holy good bomb. If you are like if they are playing second and you like want to sack in, I usually do this valley thing. But you can also just like bomb from like choke like always. I prefer bombing from like second from here because these roofs don't have collision, so you don't have to like shoot wall into wall. I guess you can also shoot wall to wall or whatever. It's like it depends on like how you play, but you can like tap and then shoot the wall or whatever. So those are like the sacks. I guess you can go cafe and do like something like this into them. But like usually teams will play like around here, so it's whatever. So that's second. So on to last. So if you are like holding last. <laughs> good luck sacking. There's <laughs> not really a whole lot. You can like go lower, I guess, and like bomb them on point. I kind of fucked it up. Big good idea. You, you can just bomb them if on they're in, like, If they're in lobby, then you kind of have a chance to. But if, they're okay, still if they are in second... lobby, yeah, you have, a, you have a chance. If they are in lobby, you can just like hope yeah. the fuck their, their team sucks. They don't see you. You can just like bomb them for free. This genuinely works. The moment you bomb from here and nobody sees you, you win. Like this is just free like spam city. They did nothing. They, you will force them. Force or drop them. Really good. Yeah. Um, If they are playing like all the way like passive where they should be playing. You can try like some counter shit, where like let's say like this is like you know going left doesn't work. You can try this, where like you can actually shard their demo. You can either like wait here, and like wait for like their medic or the demo to fall down, and just like shoot them or whatever. If they go stair, you can shoot them. If they don't, you can just like bomb them for free. So yeah, really good. There's not really a whole lot you can do here. Stacking on last, it's kind of hard. All right, here's the fun part. If you are in lobby, you have some options. You have two options. So there's the infamous, like, go crazy on their right side. So you shoot this wall, and then you do a little skip here. You can go all the way to, like, their spawn. It is really good. It, if their demo sucks, you can bypass their whole sticky squad they have in. They have, like, right here, and you can just, like, shoot their medic instantly. Really good. Or... What I like to do, you can go valley, oh, fuck, you can go dungeon, you can bomb off this wall. And you can go, oh, don't C-tap. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm playing bad. You can just C-tap off this wall, and you can just like land wherever you want on the on, uh, right side. A uh, quick note, this thing has like collision, all these things have collision, so if like you go like too high, you can like hit it like this. Okay, well, whatever. Ping point is, these things have collision, they will block you if like go too high here. Uh, other note, if you are bombing from here, Sentry will deny you, like, 100%, especially if it's here, and Heavy will also deny you, so just go Sniper. <laughs> but, like, this spot, the only denier is, like, their stickies, which you can get bypass if you, like, do it really well, and, like, Heavy or Sentry in here. So, if they do have a Sentry, your top priority as your team is not getting picks or not dropping Medic, is killing Sentry. Because the moment Sentry is in play, you literally cannot sack. Like, you literally cannot sack. So you have, you, have, you have to, like, do something about the Sentry. Best thing you can do is actually have, like, six players left and just, like, fuck out, get out of here. And just, like, shoot their gun or shoot their gun. Spamming gun from, like, right is horrible. Maybe here works, but, like, you, you, you're gonna die to demo. So just watch out for that. If they have a gun, part pushing left and just, like, getting them off of left and then spamming gun is good. Make sure you don't die here. But yeah, I think those are the uh, sex spots. Oh, I just remembered something. Don't want to talk about rolling out from forwards. Oh, I'll talk about soldier for rolling out because I don't want to go over demo because I don't like that class because I suck. And I, I won't go over scout because scout is just hold W. Sure, I'll talk about soldier. So this, so rolling out of forwards. 
yeah, rolling out of forwards is the same for pocket and roamer. Awesome, you do the same jumps. All right, so if you are on second, you have two options. You can either go choke or you can go cafe. Choke is mostly for pocket and cafe is mostly for roamer. I'll show you why. So choke is really simple. You just shoot here. You just land it here. Then you can just like waddle here or whatever. You go crazy. You can even like high bomb from here again. Go into your choke. Really good. So the cafe one, a little bit unique. You shoot from this wall and you do like a little skip onto cafe. And then you can just like grab a pack. And you can just like shoot here. Did you and then... a serious skip there? The skip is kind of necessary because it saves time. Like, because mm. like if you like land here, then like you can also like do a rocket yeah. jump here. Yeah, actually, never mind. Maybe not skipping here is kind of good. I like skipping because like I think it just depends on the situation. Like if you really need it, they're fast, yeah, if you but... skip here, you can just like go crazy like this. Yeah. Like you, you can go way faster. It's a little bit harder, but like point is, you wanna go cafe. Reason you wanna go cafe is because you can just jump off this wall into like here immediately and just start spam. So this is why this is like a mostly like roamer thing. Because Roma plays here and then Pocket plays like Cafe, so that's why. So, in here... Uh, here there's like a universal rollout for Pocket and Roma. So you shoot this wall here, you're gonna do a skip onto here, do another skip here, and then do like a fucking crazy thing here. So the crazy thing looks like this. And you can land all the way to like Shutter. So what I like to do here is I like to shoot the wall here instead of the floor. Reason is if you're like you're crazy fast and you shoot floor, there's a re there's like a chance of like you 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 do like a little something like this. Well like you go like nowhere or whatever. If you shoot wall you're guaranteed to like always like get hit by a rocket. Let's say it goes like here. Like you can just like go crazy. Yeah. It's really good. Point is, if you like land on this ledge or like shutter, then like you're pretty awesome sauce. And you can just go into lobby and then you can go stack again because you're playing roamer. <laughs> so have fun. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for roamer. There need other hiding spots. I think about the bush here. Yeah, bushes you hide here, you pray to fuck their team doesn't see you. If they don't see you, you just bomb them. That also works for scout, by the way. You can just bomb them or you can just like you can just pack at them. I've seen a clip, I promise you, advanced. This had this happened in advance. A scout held W here and like their team like held here and he just went back having was the funniest shit of all time. Anyways, that's it for Romer.